Welcome to another video. We're getting straight into this one and looking at ways and techniques that we could use to become better at writing storytelling type bars over grind beats. Now, the first thing is to decide what emotional reaction you want from your listeners. Number one, the first, first of all, you need to decide what emotional reaction you want to invoke in your listeners. This is going to act as the theme of your verse, right? I don't need to make the theme something like, oh, the story is set back in my school days or it's a story about my battle with depression or anything like that. Instead, decide what emotional reaction you want to invoke in your listeners and let that be the theme of your story. That way you can make the story about whatever you want and take the bars in whatever direction you want just as long as the song invokes that emotion that you chose. Second technique, have recurring themes in your story, right? This could be a character that keeps popping up at different parts of the song or it could simply be a recurring situation, right? So example, let's say your bars are about growing up in a rough place. The recurring situation that keeps happening might be that you keep getting put in a position where you have to commit a crime and the, the recurring character might be your mother trying to dissuade you from that path, right? Whatever, anything you can think of. Uh, having, a con having a recurring theme like this in your story connects the bars, it keeps the story connected and it's also where the key points of your story are going to appear. Number three is to use deeply descriptive bars, right? Try to use words that induce vivid imagery in your listeners. So for example, instead of saying my whole life I was taught to conform, you could say something like for years I was chained down and forcefully brainwashed, right? For years I was chained down and forcefully brainwashed. It sounds way more impactful, it induces that vivid imagery in your head already, it catches your atten attention. So try to use words like that, right? That do stuff like that, right? Look, go over your 16 that you've written of your story, look at each part. And try to think, okay, how can I make that more descriptive, much more vivid? What words can I put there instead of that word, right? And that will help. Another thing that will help it will, is to be able to play different characters, right? To be prepared to play different roles, right? If you can tell the story from a villain's perspective and then from a hero's perspective in the same song, in the same set of bars, that will induce vivid imagery in your listeners a lot more because it will make it much easier for them to envision different views and opinions of the story. So try those two techniques, right? Using deeply descriptive bars and also telling the story from uh, a different characters and perspective, different views, stuff like that. Okay, a bonus tip that I probably should have gave earlier, fourth tip, is two things. The first thing, pick the right instrumental, right? Instrumentals can bring up certain Im emotions, so it's important that you pick the in instrumental that brings up the emotions that you want to induce in your listeners, okay? And you can test this for yourself by putting an instrumental, not judging it, just sitting through it and listening to it fully, like how you're supposed to listen to music, and then putting on another instrumental after that, and you see both instrumentals will bring up different, instru different emotions, right? So it's important that you pick the instrumental that brings up the emotions that you want your viewers to experience when, you're, when they're listening to your song, your story, okay? The second thing is to write a rough draft before you write a story. Now, this is just to get your creative juices flowing because if you're used to writing bars about different topics, not so used to writing storytelling type bars, it's not going to come that natural to you, right? It might but it most probably won't, so it's important that you write these rough drafts. And when you're writing your rough drafts, the trick is to not give up, right? Write as many as you want. Like I said, it's not going to come natural to you, so even in the rough drafts, you might think, oh, this is shit, it's not working, right? Just keep keep writing with your rough draft and this until you get the groove of it. And once you do that, you'll be a lot more creative, and with the instrumental, you'll be able to start your story or verse well. So do that before you write a story. And with that being said, that's the final thing and that's it for this video. Once again, a big thank you to everyone that subscribes and supports the channel. Appreciate it much. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because it's regular content like this helping you become better as an MC. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.